ever been fascinated about Google Translation? Have you ever imagined how does this work? What are the algorithms behind this beautiful art? You can pick any language you are speaking and translate it to any language you want to. Well, this is a huge, huge project. But in this video, we'll try to create an application like this in under five minutes. So let's get started. इस वीडियो में हम पांच मिनट के अंदर इस तरह का एक एप्लीकेशन बनाने की कोशिश करेंगे हे गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी शुड बी टॉकिंग अबाउट गूगल ट्रांसलेशन फीचर सो विल स्टार्ट क्विकली नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू परफॉर्म दिस एक्टिविटी आई एम गोइंग टू यूज अ लाइब्रेरी कॉल्ड एज गूगल ट्रांस ओके नाउ वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज दिस लाइब्रेरी आई विल ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन ऑफ दिस वन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो इन केस यू वॉन्ट टू गेट स्टार्टेड विद इट but it's going to be super simple so import google trans you can just check it out or else i'll give something in the screen to check out uh it's pypi page uh once your google translate is uh, imported the first thing what you need to do is you need to do pip install right pip install google trans now many of you might face an issue while implementing this code in case you find an issue the solution will also be provided in the description below you can just check out the problem uh, check out the solution in the description below on what you need to do you don't have to do the pip install google trans instead of that you have to install a specific package i will give you that in the description i already have installed that so i'll not waste much of my time so our next step is to instantiate the google trans so what we can do is let's say translator equal to google trans dot translator okay so i have instantiated my translator now my next thing is to check what are the available languages inside google trans so i'll simply do print google trans dot the one the moment you do dot you can see languages are visible now if i have to run this code i'll just click on this and run run cell you can see these all languages are part of google translate af is the abbreviation for africans sq albanian bengali danish most of the languages in the world are already present here you can see the values the 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 output of this one is a dictionary right it's a key and value pair now we will be talking about how are we dealing this when we are creating an application out of it but for the time being we are talking about the basics right how google trans helps you to translate now my next thing is to call the translator translator dot the moment i do dot you can see there is a method called as translate you can see translate has three options text destination source and arguments so if i just use this translate what is the text i want to do let's say i love this channel simple after that i want to type my destination test equals to here i am passing my destination as hi what is hi hi is basically for hindi you can see somewhere here i am finding it very difficult to find where hi is but you can check it out it is for hindi okay and then i'll simply remove the arguments and then i will save this in the translated message translated equals to this now i'm going to print this translated so what i will do is translated dot text simple i'll run this code and you can see the output is here mujhe ye channel pasand hai see how beautiful it is within just one minute we have created this application look we have created the backend code our next step is to create a streamlit application out of it guys to be very honest with you google translation is not very easy it has from language it has to language it has a lot of features i'm not going to compete with google translate but anything which is at least 20 30% closer to that that means we are achieving our task okay and this is also a very important project in case you are into college you are a beginner it could be used as a fun project now this part is clear we have run this code translate equals to i love this channel mujhe ye channel pasand hai if you want to test it out 
how are you let me just run this you can just press f9 okay so it's not taking this one let me just rerun it you can either press f9 aap kaise hain you can see it is able to interpret the intent right now my next step is to convert it into streamlit which is not possible in 5 minutes so i have already written down the streamlit function in case you are not aware of streamlit you can just search it out streamlit is a very beautiful concept where you can easily create a web application out of your backend code so i'll quickly jump into my next code which is this one you can see most of the code is same what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a streamlit web application where how many inputs am i passing here two inputs my message and my destination if you want to also pass the source language let's say here i already know that source is english so your inputs will be three that means your web application will take three inputs and your output will be just the translated text right now you can add more features to it as i told you i'm just introducing this project to you you can take it as a challenge and implement more things now here the code is very simple i have just imported streamlit google trans i'm calling the same thing here i'm defining a get key uh, function where for key value in google translate.languages.items i'm i'm basically using that dictionary and then i'm creating a key value pair so my my input my application will have list of all the languages so once i select a language that particular key value goes as an input to the dot translate method simple now what i will do is i'll simply run this code code will be available to you let me run this so code is running okay we have to run it as a streamlit application let me just run it okay we'll have to run using anaconda prompt so let's run it on anaconda prompt let me open anaconda prompt i'll just quickly do this streamlit run app.py once it is done automatically you will be redirected to their page which is localhost colon 8502 here it is asking for language let's say i'm i'm typing hindi input the text how are you control enter aap kaise hain you can see let's try to do the same thing on google translate and check how are we getting the results let's say you can see aap kaise hain similarly we'll try to use some complex query let's say in deep learning the most difficult part is understanding back propagation control enter gehri shiksha mein well that's funny gehri shiksha mein सबसे कठिन हिस्सा बैक प्रोपोगेशन को समझना है लेट्स ट्राई टू सी व्हाट गूगल ट्रांसलेट इज डूइंग गहरी शिक्षा में सबसे कठिन हिस्सा बैक प्रोपोगेशन को समझना है सो यू कैन सी दिस पर्टिकुलर गूगल ट्रांस इज नथिंग बट गूगल ट्रांस पाइथन दिस इज नथिंग बट वन ऑफ द लाइब्रेरीज it's a free and unlimited python library that implemented google translate api so you can use this take this as a challenge you can build your own project out of it you can have all these features like right now we are just typing text is an input so what we can do is we can embed the microphone source and using the microphone source you can use it as use your voice recognition convert it into text and then do all these activities definitely it will not be very simple work so that's it from my side if you like my videos please like share and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get notified of my future videos you will get the codes and all those things in the description below see you bye bye